that day had come about through the uh, unimaginable sacrifices of thousands of my people people whose sufferings and courage can never be counted or repaid so here uh, nelson mandela he is saying uh, he is remembering the sacrifices and the bravery that people thousands and thousands of his own people his own people means the his own community people the black colored people they have done to get this independence so he is remembering the history he is remembering the past time and he says that people who suffering and courage can never be counted or repaid so the amount of courage and suffering that has happened which it, it nothing can be counted nor na, the courage can be repaid na, nobody can repay back the favor that these people have done on us i felt that day as i have so on so many other days that i was simply the sum of all many uh, all those african patriots who had gone before me so he is remembering all the people who had loved africa okay patriot means those who have loved the country so he is remembering all those uh, uh, people who were patriots who had loved africa and who had taken part in this freedom struggle that long and noble line ended and now began again with me so now that old past is past and now a new era is beginning i was pain that i was not able to thank them and that they were not able to see what their sacrifices had brought brought means achieved or uh, done so what has these sacrifices brought uh, what have they achieved they have finally achieved the independence so he is in a way showing his respect to these uh, freedom fighters who have Uh, laid down their lives who have struggled hard to achieve the freedom and he is remembering all of them and he says i was pained so that i could not thank them so he he feels for these uh, uh, countrymen of his who had uh, who have uh, really worked hard and have struggled for the freedom the policy of apartheid created a deep and lasting wound in my country and my people all of us will spend many years if not generations recovering from that profound hurt profound means deep so here uh, here nelson mandela wants to say that uh, the hurt that we have got is a very deep hurt from these white people they have ruled us for over 300 years and they have brought a lot of miseries and uh, they have done a lot of arrest uh, uh, atrocities on us and the hurt is profound very very deep and uh, the policy of apartheid created a deep and lasting wound in my country uh and uh, it has uh, uh, it will take time it will uh, all of us will spend many years so it is going to take time if not generations it uh, recovering from that profound hurt so it will definitely take many years if it even if it won't be after generations after generations it won't take so much time but then it will be many years but the decades of the oppression and brutality had another unintended effect and that was it's uh, produced the oliver tambus the walter sisulus the chief luthulus uh, the yusuf da da dadus the bram fishers the robert subukwas of our time men of extraordinary so here we have the picture of all these great people who had taken part in this freedom struggle so he is remembering each and every great person and he is uh, uh, remembering with the name of these great persons so this just shows his humbleness his gratitude towards his own country people who have taken part in the freedom struggle 
courage and wisdom and generosity that their like may never be known again perhaps it requires such depth of operation to create such heights of character now this is a important line he says over here nelson mandela says over here perhaps it requires depth of operation it requires a lot of pressure a lot of sacrifices a lot of uh, 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 um, uh, force to bear that uh, all that pain that was given to the countrymen so these people have uh, they had bared that pain that those atrocities that were done on them so after bearing those pain today we have reached such heights of character so in a way here he is going to uh, he is saying that it is only after pain that we get we gain so uh, 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 he wants to say that uh, just as the proverb is there that um, until less you work hard you will not uh, uh, get the fruitful result so that is the same proverb that until less the, uh, uh, there is pressure it is the pressure that shapes up a personality of a person it is the pressure that has pressure of operation so much pressure was given to us that we have today uh, reached this height of character okay my country is rich in the minerals now he is doing a comparison this is basically a metaphor that is being done over here he is doing a comparison between the pressure of the operation and what pressure is uh, uh, does so just see this this is a important point my country is rich in minerals and gems that lie beneath its soil so we all know that uh, south africa is having mines of diamonds so here he is, he is talking about that rich in minerals that is the uh, 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 diamond that he is talking about but i have people known that it is greatest wealth is it's people finer and truer than the purest diamonds so he says that he no uh, 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 he says that uh, just the way raw diamonds which are there in the mines they are the wealth of the country but he feels the actual wealth of the country is the freedom people freedom fighters who have struggled for their freedom and who have sacrificed their lives so he gives a comparison between the freedom fighters and the diamond he says my country is rich in minerals and gems so he uh, uh, that lie beneath the soil so he is mentioning over here regarding the diamonds which is there in the mines but i have always known the greatest wealth of its people but he feels that the greatest wealth of the people is not the diamond that is present in south africa it is because it is the uh, 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 fine it is something more wealthier finer and truer than the purest diamonds what was the greatest wealth of south africa it was the freedom fighters who had fought for whom he was remembering and who had fought for the freedom struggle of south africa okay again uh, so this is something very important it is true for these comrades in the struggle that uh, i earned the meaning of courage i learned the meaning of courage time and again i have seen men and women risk the, give their lives for an idea so now he says that uh, i have seen the my friends i have seen these freedom fighters who have shown the real meaning of courage and i have seen men and women both it's not only the men who have fought it there are women also who have laid down their lives just for this idea of freedom i have seen men stand up to attacks and torture without breaking showing in strength and resilience that defies the imagination so uh, resilience means its ability to deal with any kind of hardship and recover from its effect so this just shows the strong determination the, to face the hardship the strength that person has 
uh, we have seen the sort of uh, thing in indian freedom struggle also we have seen it with mahatma gandhi who has gone to several fast with his strong determination he has made the britishers bend uh, before him so we uh, it is this strong determination the strength that nelson mandela is talking about here i learned that the courage was not the absence of fear but the triumph over it so he uh, uh, says that the courage is not the absence of fear but the victory over the fear so what is courage courage is victory over the fear the brave man is not he who does not feel afraid but he who conquers that fear so now he says who is a brave man the brave man is not one who is, who is not afraid who does not feel afraid that person is not brave who does not feel afraid who is brave then the brave man is one person who conquers that fear so who wins over over that fear so we have that famous dialogue of hindi dar ke aage jeet hai so here this comes to be truth okay now no one in born hating other person because the color of his skin or his background or his religion so he is saying that no one is born hating no one is born with the with that idea of hating the other person just because uh, the color is black on the so he is talking about the racial discrimination that is done uh, on the basis of racial discrimination or on the basis of religion he mentions about religion also people must learn to hate but if they can learn to hate they can be taught to love so for love comes more naturally to human heart than its opposite so here he says that people or those people who can hate they can also love because loving is more easy as compared to hating for hating you have to uh, take extra pains and learn to hate but then uh, love comes very naturally that is inbuilt in a person so uh, even the grimmest times in the prison when my comrades and i push to our limits i uh, would see a glimmer of humanity in one of the guards perhaps just for a second but it was enough to pressure me uh enough to reassure me and keep me going so here he mentions about one of the incidents where he uh, 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 he saw that one of the guards who uh, with just one glimpse of human humanity he saw in one of the guards eyes so that humanity feeling that one of the guards showed towards him had given him so much of strength that uh, 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 although that uh, humanity was just for a second but it was enough for him to keep on going for years because we know he has been in prison for 27 years and that is a pretty long time it's almost a man's age is over okay but it was enough to reassure me and keep me going man's goodness is a flame that can be hidden but never extinguished so now he says that the man's goodness the inner quality of goodness in a man is uh, is just like a flame it can be hidden you can hide that flame but you cannot ever put it off the flame keeps on burning in his heart so he says that no person is cruel by birth no person can hate by birth uh by birth person can only love that is the inbuilt quality that a person is born with to love and that love remains just like a flame uh, why is he saying flame here there's a comparison done with the flame we have seen the flame to be flickering sometimes glowing very brightly and sometimes getting diminished so he says that man's goodness is just like that flame sometimes growing out and sometimes going inside so he says that that flame it's just like a flame but it does not put off it is there uh, 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 hidden inside it never gets extinguished it never gets put off 
okay so we are going to stop with this uh, over here please this is a difficult chapter and uh, a lot of questions are framed from this so please do a proper reading of the chapter understand each and every line because uh, questions can be framed from each and every line so this is one of the most important chapters that you have please do a proper reading students uh, we have done a portion of uh, the chapter today and uh, although we have not finished up with the chapter but uh, uh, it's going to take some more time maybe one more class to finish off with the chapter but then this chapter is very important one and uh, it has got very small small minute uh, specifications details of the life of nelson mandela because here you can see that this is a autobiography and he is describing the experiences and lifetime memories that he has in his uh, um, he has faced and he has had in his own life so uh, um, questions can be framed from any point of the uh, book each and every line is important the comparisons that are done and uh, um, the place the uh, who were the people who attended what are uh, who are the what were the memories that he had his uh, struggle everything is important so just have a good reading of the chapter and uh, uh, stay safe till we catch up next time